A prophetic word comes from the man of God. Woman, what is it you have in your house? Oh, man of God. I just have just this jar of oil. That's all I have. The creditors are coming. The man of God says to a woman, check your neighbors out. Get vessels from them. Michelle, would you come please? Come please. Michelle, things are very bad with us. That's all we have. But the man of God said to me to go get jars from the neighbors. Not a few. Would you go get me some jars, please? Thank you very much, my dear. She goes for the jars. And let me tell you this. When God gives you a word, don't go into prayer mode. Obey it. When God gives you a word and direction, you don't have to fast and all of that stuff. Obey it. Would you tell us next to you? Obey the word. Obey the word. We're not having communion today. Obey the word. Darling, pass in the middle. Let's come right down the middle. Go to the neighbors. Bring vessels, not a few. Bring them. Christ says, bring vessels, not a few. Bring vessels, not a few. Bring vessels, not a few. I said to you, God will shift you from your natural reasoning and understanding. That which she had was smaller than that which was ahead of her. Bring vessels, not a few. Michel went and get the vessels. We in crisis. When I told Michelle what I'm going to do this morning, she said to me, Daddy, how can this bottle fool these things? I said, the Lord said to go get vessels, not a few. Not a few. Not a few. Bring vessels. Not a few. <laughs> All right. I asked the Lord this morning when I was going to do this. Lord, I would love for the miracle to happen. And he said to me, it's water and there is not a need for water, but go ahead and illustrate it for the people. But I'm still believing him. But bring vessels, not a few. God will give you a revelation, an instruction that will be too radical for your natural mind. Remember I said that to you? He said to the woman, what you have? She said, I have a jar with oil. Just that. He says, send your children to the neighbors and get vessels. Hallelujah. So she began to pour in the vessel. And, uh, and, and she went to the next one. It filled up. And she, uh, when she saw the first, she said, it, it's working. It's working. Bring up. It's working. Oh, oh it's working. Some of you will not start to move until something happens. Remember that man that had the leprosy? Yes. He had the leprosy and he said, God wants to work a miracle. Go in the pool and jump. He said, I, I'm not going into this thing. So he must have gone one time and nothing happened. He said, you see what I tell you? It's not working. But the man said, you've got to complete the thing. He said, take seven dips. Hallelujah. Some of you, before you, 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 you confess, but the pain still and you stop. Yes. You, you, you declare the word and the thing still and you stop. But it's only when Moses stepped the sea party. Yes. It's only when you begin to move, some things happen. Yes. I'll tell you this, when he told the woman, go get the stuff, she could have stayed there and prayed all night. Yes. 
Like some of you do? Yeah. Some of you just hide and pray. I'm praying. Yeah. He didn't say to pray. He said, go to your neighbors. Yeah. And get vessels. Don't bring a few. What my hands for to? Oh, it's working! It's 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 working! Oh, oh, it's working! It's falling up! Wow! Whoa! Let's have it! Wow! It's working! It's working! Do you have more? You have more? Bring more! Bring more! Bring. Oh no! No more! No more! Bring vessels, not a few. The prophetic word is radical. The prophetic word is not, thank you, that darling. You could leave all my vessels there. <laughs> By the end of the day, I, I might need help to carry them. <laughs> Are you getting a picture, brothers and sisters? What you have may be small, but you serve a big God. I said, what you have may be small, but you serve a big God. And that big God can make can cause big things to come of the small thing you had. That woman had an oil business from a jar of oil. Sorry, my brother. That was holy water. Borrow vessels for oil. To Matewes. I know Matewes and I'm not talking, but I would go to Matewes. I would go to Mr. Indian. I would go to Sister Susida. I would go to everybody. I, you know, and stuff like that. But because she brought that amount, remember the word of the Lord, borrow vessel, not a few. And I tell you this, sometimes we limit ourselves because we don't see the end result. We limit ourselves because we can't figure it out. God cannot do that. God cannot bring this. How many gallons do we have there now? I know that is a gallon, a gallon, a gallon, a gallon. That's maybe five. That's from a what? From, from, from 0 0.5 liter. 16.9 fuel fluid ounces. And we have all of that. Are you stopping what God wants to do because you're trying to figure it out? Are you trying to figure it out? The vessels she was borrowing were bigger than the vessels she had the oil in, yet it filled them. I said the vessels she was borrowing were bigger than the vessels she had the oil in, yet it filled them all. You will not be able to flow with God and embrace his plan if you are always looking for it to fit in your little plan. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? It's right up there. I'm saying to you, you will not be able to flow with God and embrace his plan if you are always looking for it to fit in your little plan. Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. It will not always fit in your plan. But if you obey the instruction, in fact, let me say this to you. That's a borrowed statement from Mike Muller. The instructions you follow will